Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Samsung Pro Plus SD card. So if you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to this in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So here we have the read speed is up to 100 megabytes per second. The write speed is up to 60 megabytes per second, but I'll be running a test on this in a minute. So this could work in DSLR, camera, notebook. So there are many applications for this. I got this for our DSLR camera and here's the card itself. So here are all the features and you see these on a lot of SD cards. We have waterproof, temperature proof, x-ray proof, magnet proof, shock proof, drop proof, and wear out proof. So I'll open this up. So here's the card itself. So I'm going to plug this into my MacBook Pro. It's a 2015 MacBook Pro and I'll run some benchmarks on it. Okay, so I'm going to insert the card into the internal card reader. And here it is. Okay, there's nothing on it. Take a look at it. So this is formatted as FAT32. The capacity is 32.03 gigabytes. So the first thing I'll do is reformat this. I'm going to use disk utility on the Mac and I'm going to format this as XFAT. I'll open up Blackmagic speed test to do benchmarking. So it looks like for the write speed, I got around 80 megabytes per second. And for the read, I got around 90 megabytes per second. So it's a little over what it says on the package for writes and a little under for reads. So I'll stop that. Next, I'll open Amorphous Disk Mark. And this is like Crystal Disk Mark, but for the Mac. I'm going to choose the card there and we'll run this. Okay, so that test is finished. So you can see the top here, we have sequential with Q depth of eight and sequential with Q depth of one. And we have about 90 megabytes per second read speed. And for the top, we have 74. and the bottom, we have 82 megabytes per second. And then for the random on the bottom, we have around 11 megabytes per second for both of those and 3.8 and 3.6 for the right. So that's the Samsung Pro Plus SD card. I think this is a good card for using with different devices, especially like a digital camera. It has good read speeds on it. So after you've had a long day of taking pictures, Pictures, you can pop this in your computer and you can transfer them over very quickly. Based on my experience with Samsung's SD cards, I find them to be very reliable. Now, I would still recommend backing up data. I wouldn't store data only on here. So after you've taken your pictures on here, I would offload them to some other device. There's no way to predict when a device is going to fail. This also has a little white area you could write on, which would be nice. So you could number your cards or label them in some way so you can easily keep track of them. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.